Hi, this is AKS Nani from Smart VRC Bhopal, and this is our webinar number 140. And thank you for your untiring support for making these webinars and seminars a good success. So the whatever data we have collected from you will not be shared with any party, rest assured. And I have put you, all of you on uh, mute mode. So well, uh, today's topic is pretty interesting, a potential multi lugger stock analysis. Yes, uh, we'll do in-depth analysis and then you have to decide whether it is a good stock. And, uh, I am sure. Uh, let's see. Let's see what happens. So before that, uh, this is the um, this is the seminar, physical seminar, hosted by us on 26th of January 2023 in Ahmedabad, and the name was topic was kiss to win. Keep it short, and simple. And uh, there is a a very limited persons participants seminar at Bhopal. This was hosted on 19th of February. And this was a kind of a basic kind of a seminar. And the title was Strategies for Successful Investing. Again in Ahmedabad on 25th of February. This time the seminar was organized by Smart Investments Bhopal, as you may be aware. Is a is one of the leading publishers from Ahmedabad, not only from Ahmedabad, but from the whole country. They have a lot of publications, including the Gujarati version. So here, my topic was understanding cycles to win. So coming to the today's webinar, these are the contents. First, it will be about the company and the financial highlights, then the story ahead. So. Only the financial highlights are not enough. We need to know what is the story ahead and what about the valuations. Then what is the flip side? Yes, like a coin, every, every stock has the other side also. And uh, when to exit, that is uh, very important. And then also we are going to give you free research report. And of course, there are some conditions attached to it. And then followed by question and answer session. So starting with a poll, and it is pretty interesting. I'm I'm very sure at least you will find it very interesting. The company with a market capitalization of 10,000 crores is categorized as large cap, mid cap, small cap, or it depends on the market capitalization of other companies. This is very interesting. Market capitalization of a company with 10,000 crores. So, the option is available on your screen. I request all of you to participate it's going to be very interesting. As I can see the results, it's going to be very, very interesting. Market capitalization of a company is 10,000 crores. It should be called as large cap, mid cap, small cap, or it depends on the market capitalization of other companies. So 61 participants have posted their votes. Uh, that is 65%, this is pretty low. I want all of you to participate. All of you, yes, yes, please, another five seconds. Well, uh, the results are a mm, bit unexpected from my end. So I'm sure you are able to see the results. 
33 percent are said that this company is large cap 40 percent and that is the highest have gone for mid cap <laughs> and 15 percent for small cap and there is a small percentage of 12 percent which goes to the last option that is the depends on the market revelation of other companies so the correct answer or uh, whether i should say the most perfect answer is option d this market capitalization is one thing but category is dependent on your company's market capitalization with respect to the whole list so it is like this companies with if they are arranged in the order of uh, declining market capitalization so the first one with the highest market capitalization then and the second highest like this then the top 100 companies are known to be the large cap another 150 are known as mid cap and the rest are small cap so as per the present conditions of course 10000 crores goes under the mid cap but the same company may not remain a mid cap stock if market capitalization despite remaining the market capitalization of this company the same but if the market capitalization of other companies changes so all the market capitalization rises by 100% then probably this company will become small cap so to be very precise option d is the answer thank you, thank you for your participation and uh, as you can see 100% have answered thank you very much So first we go about the company, we uh, will see what the company does and uh, before starting, what is the, how much is the skin in the game of the promoters? That means what is the uh, promoter stake in the company? So in this case, the company which is under analysis has got a promoter stake of 70.8%, that is pretty high and more so. We'll later see why I am saying 71.8% is very, very high. Of course, the limit is 75%, but still 70.8 is high, but in my opinion, it is very, very high. Uh, second is the mutual funds. Mutual funds are holding 3.81%. Foreign portfolio investors are 6.32%. Individual investors are holding 11.66% and others are 7.41%. So this company belongs to the sector as the pumps and the pumping solutions mostly is used in uh, irrigation and also in power sector and other industry. The company is engaged in designing, developing, manufacturing, erecting, commissioning and servicing of pumps and pumping systems. So this company is very much confined and uh, related to only the pumps and the related activities. This company has got a rich experience of 65 years. That is a very, very long period, considering that most of the companies were incorporated in 1980s or 90s. So this company has a very long journey of 65 years. And of course, with such a rich experience, they, they are expected to be the masters and rightly so, after establishing their leading uh, position in the Indian market. Now the group has poured it into the export markets, not only for it, they have got the manufacturing units in so many countries like United Kingdom, France, Italy, South Africa, Zambia, Australia, Thailand, Switzerland. Pretty good show. Coming to the financial highlights. This is going to be very interesting. Now, we will consider one by one the parameters. Number one is revenue and these numbers are in crores. And also these two last columns uh, that are highlighted in, in yellow color is for the, these are the results for the three months. That is quarter ended December 21 and this quarter ended December 22. So here is the revenue, 1156 crores, then 908 crores on expected lines because this was the COVID year also. And even for 321, the recovery was not complete. And then 322, yes. Here, company has shown a good growth, but what we are seeing here is more than 100% rise in turnover in revenues 
for the quarter ended December 22. This is exceptionally high considering the past four years of financial, consolidated financial results. So here it is about 20% growth from the last year. But for the latest quarter, growth is more than 100% in revenues. That is fabulous. That is very rare to see. And being such an old company and already engaged in these activities. Then comes the other income. Okay. How uh, we can see a sudden jump in other income for the latest quarter. And this is because of the forex gains. Then we have got the interest outgo, interest on the loans taken by the company. And as you can see, the interest is rising steadily from 13 crores to 20 crores to 22 crores, then started declining. More so, um, interest in absolute terms may not give you the right picture. And I will show you in another slide how to interpret the interest performance. <clears throat> Coming to the depreciation, uh, from 19 crores, it jumped to 37 crores, 37 crores, 37 crores, and the steady. And for the latest quarter also, it is more or less the same. Maybe for the full year, depreciation may be around 40. That is a good amount of investment company is making capital investment. Coming to the tax outgo, uh, not much to be inferred from the numbers, apart from the fact that yes, there is a jump in tax outgo, but nothing about the uh, financial, it says nothing about the financial profitability. Coming to the net profit, uh, from 157 crores, the profits grew to 53 crores, and 98 crores, and 118 crores, and then comes the last quarter, latest quarter results. As you can see, the profits are up by almost six times. Five and a half times from 15 crores to 84 crores. That is a big, big jump. Coming to the equity capital, equity capital is constant 9.77 crores. What does it mean? Now it is very interesting here to see that interest costs are rising, but not to that extent, as in the jump in revenue and jump in uh, profitability. At the same time, equity capital is constant at 9.77 crores and depreciation is steady at a decent level of 37 crores every year. That the company is able to generate so much of profits that it need not have to raise the, uh, raise the money from outside sources. Uh, it is slowly, of course, the debt level is rising, but not to that level, not to that uh, uh, appreciable level. And the uh, company is not raising any money from the shareholders because the equity capital is constant. And uh, coming to the EPS and CPS numbers, EPS, you can see how it has jumped, and EPS is more or less in uh, <coughs> line with the net profit, because equity is constant. Then the operating profit margins, it used to have high operating profits of, of operating profit margins of 22% in FY19, which dipped to 15%. Because of COVID, then gradually it improved. And for the latest quarter, it has jumped to 24%. So 24% operating profits is not very high when we can uh, compare with FI19 results. Similarly, net profit margin has jumped to 16.51%. And the company has raised the dividend from 75% under the last two years. So this is all about the financial highlights. Other, now apart from these highlights, we have taken some ratios so as to give us better insights. Like turnover to equity ratio is very, very high at 121x. So let me tell you, in general, turnover to equity ratio is about 10, 15, or 20. But about 20, that means company is doing exceptionally well and company is able to increase the revenues without raising equity capital. That is the meaning we can infer from this number. 121 is very high. Now, revenue to, okay. Uh, it is not revenue. Uh, there is a typo error. It should be reserves. Reserves to equity capital is also very high at 63x, 63 times. So, normally what happens is companies in general, I'm saying, this is not a rule, but in general, when the 
uh, this ratio, second one is 20, 25 or 30 and the future prospects are right. And if the management is investor friendly, then they give bonus. So in this case, all right, um, if we look at the uh, turnover to equity ratio or reserves to equity ratio, these are very, very attractive and companies should be able to reward shareholders with liberal bonus issue. Interest divided by net profit. Now, this is the right measure if you want to calculate the interest. As you can see, the interest to net profit is declining very fast. So, company is in a very, very comfortable position. And especially for the latest quarter, it has declined to 6.63. And just uh, about three years ago, it was 38.99%. Very impressive number. Then comes the net profit margin. As we have seen, the net profit margins are rising and rising at a very fast pace. So everything looks fine from, um, from the stock investment perspective. That's the story ahead. So before uh, moving ahead, I would like to tell you something uh, about my firm, Smart BRC, what are its activities and what it does for the investors. I am the owner of Smart BRC. Objective is to help investors create wealth from stocks. Smartly. So, to as a uh, as a proof of our our knowledge and insights and expertise, we started the basket of stocks with an amount of rupees one lakh. That was on thirtieth of May two thousand one. And with the very strict conditions that changes, if any, implemented only on Wednesday before 11 a.m., that basket has grown to 1.3 crores from 1 lakh to 1.34 crores in about few years. So that gives a compound returns of uh, about 25.5 percent. When when we compare this with respect to the BSC Sensex, then Sensex has given the returns of about 14 point. So uh, we have uh, uh, the research publications and these research publications are categorized into three products. One is Smart Gains, one is Smart Multivalor, one is Smart SIP. So Smart Gains was started way back December 99. <coughs> Multibagger was started on 15th October 2007 and Smart SIP in 5th, on 5th October 2016. We had some other products also, but over a period of time, we have modified those products uh, based on our learning, based on our success, based on our failures, <laughs> based on our challenges also. And for Smart Gains, the product ended is perpetual. This will continue. And not only Smart Gains, but all the products will continue. Target compound returns are from 25 to 30 percent. Here it is 30 to 40 percent. Here it is 20 to 22 percent. Risk in the smart gains it is medium. Medium because the investment horizon varies from three months to 24 months only. And in multibagus, though the target returns are high, but risk is low to medium because the investment holding period, the target holding period is pretty high from two to five years. And here the risk is low because holding period is very long. Yes, we do provide sell advice also for all the schemes. And also we provide you the allocation. That means how much you should invest in each stock based on the vintage. And we do provide the research reports for all the three services. Philosophy is same. It is the bottoms up. First, the company, then the sector, and then the economy. Market cap in smart games, it is all cap. Smart multivagger also all cap and smart SIP focuses on large caps, but we do include mid cap sense. All the advice is given during the marketers. And uh, in case of smart multivagger, the advice frequency is most 25 days, but there is no fixed date. And uh, about 12 to 15 reports we publish smart multivagger. And in smart SIP, it is the fifth of the month. And in all the services, if you subscribe, then you get an access to our past advice. 
subscription term term we provide only for one year and subscription price is 6000 8500 and 4000 these are excluding gst so you have to include 18% uh, gst so our main objective as i said is to share knowledge and wisdom and provide advice first to create wealth for this we use various channels like we have got our own website own mobile app we do organize webinars like the current one you are here and then the physical seminars and also the workshops in the workshops we we tell you how to find the worth of this basically until and unless you know how to find the worth of the stock or your advisor knows whatever you do without that is playing in dark you may create wealth randomly or if the market is in continuously under uptrend then yes you may continue to make wealth but consistently you cannot create wealth until unless you know the worth of the stock also we have the presence on social media like facebook youtube linkedin twitter and WhatsApp, of course, and then we do appear, uh, make our appearance on televisions, but that is not a frequent phenomenon. So, if you are interested in watching the videos of the past webinars, we have, as, as I have shown you, this is our 140th webinar, you can visit our website, that is smartverc.com, and on the website, under the smart academy there is a smart insights there you can select the category and then you can watch the respective webinar so how we can help you become a smart investor because uh, why why my objective is like this because it took a very long time for me to understand what works and what doesn't work since so i want to cut short that process for New investors initially it is really very difficult very tough to understand and it takes in my opinion it takes no less than 15 to 20 years to understand how the market works and how to control emotions so if you want to cut short then we have got various uh, various options for you like we provide stock advisory it is not only for uh, these uh, these products are not only for creating wealth but also to understand to, to, to provide you the education, how to find the worth of the stock, what to look for, what to avoid. What to avoid is very, very important. So we have got uh, Smart Insights Pro. Smart Insights Pro means a very specialized type of uh, category of uh, small, small videos. About 15 to 20 videos have been categorized into different topics like financial freedom, equity research, portfolio management, and controlling emotions. Yes, I am an author of the book, Way to Billionaire. This is available in English as well as Gujarati. Uh, if those who are interested can visit our website and purchase that book. Also, we have got free financial freedom calculators. And you will be surprised to know that not even 5% of people in general know how much money they will require at the time of retirement. And that is the reason why post-retirement, in most of the cases you might have seen, financial situation is not as good as it should be. So this is our website, smartvrc.com. So how we are different, a lot of things I have already uh, discussed with you. We have a cumulative experience of 73 years. My team is very small. And uh, with us is uh, Mr. Kishore Proswani. And he has an experience of almost years in the stock market and need to have 34 years and uh, he looks after the uh, marketing part and we have got the ability to find the worth of the stock with good accuracy of course finding the worth is not that easy and for every stock you need to prioritize prioritize which parameters are to be given how much weightage not only the weightage but it also involves a lot of subjectivity Yes, we are truly qualified, not only in terms of our academic qualifications, but in terms of in terms of the investment horizon in stock market, in terms of the success. Yes, as I said, all our advice is closed loop. We also provide the sell advice, and also we will tell you how much 
invest based on the allocation. So this was all about smart VRC. And now continuing with our webinar contents, the next is the story ahead. We have covered about the company, about the financial highlights. This is the story ahead. So the story ahead is like this, uh, order book. Last year revenues were 1181 crores and this is consolidated. And the company had an orders of about 3345 crores. So almost three times of the last year revenues, three times, yes, three times. And not only that, company got further uh, uh, LOA for about 1225 crores. So that itself is more than the last year revenue. This were, LOA was issued on 3rd of March 2023, just nine days back. So if you add these two, it comes to about 4,570 crores and last year revenue was 1181 crores. You can well, you very well can uh, see how much revenue growth can be expected. More so because most of the orders are to be completed within two years. What is the other story ahead? Of course, Burjani order book. Stabilization in input prices, yes, that is one of the reasons why the uh, profitability has jumped because of the stable input prices. Most of its inputs are metal. Also, supply side constraints, now uh, that issue has been sorted out. So in the domestic market, another trigger is the Del Jivan mission. It is continuing, that is the water for all mission of the government. And this is giving good orders. This is creating good orders for the company. As far as the overseas are concerned, uh, yes, there is a healthy demand in the oil and gas segment because of the elevated oil prices from a pretty long time. And also there are infrastructure projects across the uh, MENA region. That is the Middle East and North Africa. Middle East and North Africa, MENA region. So coming to the valuations, well, yes, a lot of learnings you are going to have here. And it is before, uh, before giving the valuations, let me tell you the share price. This is the share price of the company, which was hovering around 11, around 1000 rupees for most part of the year. But from last one month, share price has jumped from 1100 to 2500. Yes, yes, you heard correct. This stock has already more than doubled during the last one month, but that is how the people are aware. And still there it is, seems to be, there seems to be a lot of scope and I will, I will share with you how. And that scope is there or not, that, that, that decision is dependent on you or you can consult your advisor. Whatever I am, I am providing you, offering you is mostly from the education purpose and it is not from the advice purpose and this stock has not been covered in any of our our advice our research publications from last more than four years neither i hold any even a single share of this company so what is your opinion do you think this stock is worth investing uh, we have covered a lot of things apart from the valuation and let me see uh, what is your opinion whatever inputs uh, we have given. <sighs> so it is available on your screen. You can participate here. Is this company worth investing? Option A is yes, option B is no, and option C is can't say. So only 60% participants have shown their uh, option, have given their option. I request all of you to please participate, please. We are not going to share your results, your individual results, but uh, it is a consolidated results and that would be very interesting. Uh, we have 100 participants and 73 have participated already. So in another five seconds, we will be closing this poll.
So, overall, 74% participants have casted their votes, and uh, this is the result. 56% say yes, 7% say no, and 37% say can't. So, it is very natural <clears throat> because we have not yet disclosed the valuations. So, 37% say we can't say anything. Maybe there are people who are capable of deciding on their own, and that is how 56% say yes and 7% say no. So, let's see. <clears throat> what is there in the store? First is based on first nine month results and seasonality. Seasonality because uh, pump manufacturers, they record handsome revenues. I should not say the word handsome, but um, most of the revenues in the last quarter and as well as the profitability is very, very high in the last month. So for full year, we are expecting a revenue of 1800 crores for current year and uh, EPS of about 180. So with revenue of 1800 crores, sales would be up by 52% and EPS will be up by 80% and EPS would be 180. So, so far, so good. This is for the current year, that is FY23. Assuming current order book, as I said, order book is 4,500 crores and uh, part fresh orders also can be expected in during this next two years of time. And based on that, we are projecting a revenue growth of 25% for each of next two years. So we are expecting 25% growth. Four and Again, 25% growth in FY25. On the base of 1800 crores for FY23. I hope uh, this is clear. <coughs> Okay. There are a lot of um, queries in the chat box about the name of the company. Uh, definitely, so we will share the name of the company. Uh, due to economies of scale, net profit is likely to grow at a bit higher rate. This, but natural as the revenues grow, the profit margins grow at a much higher rate. So, uh, on a conservative basis, we have taken thirty percent to thirty-five percent for the next two years on a revenue growth of 25%. This is quite reasonable. Uh, those who know the valuation, they must be appreciating this thing. Now, low and declining debt offers question for leveraging. As we have shown you, the interest cost as a percentage of Revenue or as a percentage of net profit is declining very fast. And so company has a question required for any kind of huge expansion or, or acquisition. Company can always opt for taking loans, leveraging its balance sheet. And there are remote chances of equity dilution. And because we are not expecting any equity dilution, so we can take the EPS to grow at the same rate as the net profit. So current price is 2518, 2118. P on trailing 12 months is 15. Sorry, this should not be rupees because it is a ratio. P on trailing, trailing means the last 12 months is 15. So 15 P is not uh, high. Considering that we are expecting revenue growth of 25% and profit growth 30% or you can say it is growth of 30 to 35 percent for next two years. Name of the company is WPIL. So the projected P based on these parameters, these projections, the projected P is 14 for at the current price, of course, at the current price. For FI23, it is 14, for FI24, it is 11, for FI25, it is 8. So if we assume that all these projections come true, then 
current P ratio is 15. If this P ratio continues for F25 also, there is a chance of about 90%. That is how you have to calculate, you have to find the target price. That is how we do the calculations for all our publications, research publications. So this was about the valuations. I repeat once again, the name of the company, it is WPIL. Is there any flip side? Yes, there is a flip side. It is listed only on BSC. It is not available on NSC. Liquidity is fairly, I can say it is average because the share price is pretty high, 2,500 rupees and about 40,000 shares are traded per day. Yes, it is under ASM LT stage one. In brief, I can say that because of the high volatility in share price, ESC has signed this ASM LT stage one. There is nothing to be worried. If you are a long term investor, if you are in mining cash, then you can be worried about ASM LT stage one. And liquidity is 40,000 shares per day. Those who have a portfolio of more than, say, more than 30 crores or 40 crores should not invest in this. Okay, because 40,000 shares is pretty low for that, SNIs, that category of investors. Even for others, because the share price is already doubled during last, more than doubled during last one month, I would not advise you to move on a big weightage, big allocation of this stock in your portfolio. So you can start with maybe 1% or 2%, if at all you find it to be attractive. This is just a guidance. This is from the educational point of view. This is what I learned from my experience in the stock market. How are strong, how are strong conviction you have and or strong confidence, any confidence you have, always uh, look for the downside of, always look for the risk factor also. So even if, even if suppose, not from this stock perspective, there is some stock and you expect that it will multiply four times in the coming four years, then no need to go for more than 3% weightage because even 3% will become 12% in four years. That is pretty high. So that is how you have to decide the allocation. High volatility we have already covered. There are investors uh, in theory or in Excel sheet, they are, they are ready to accept that, yes, I am ready for 20%, 30% plot on. But when in reality it happens, then they are not able to digest such volatility. So if you are a long-term investor, be very clear, volatility, volatility is not risk because you are not going to sell in the short term. Now the question arises, when to exit? Because things may not remain the same on either side maybe on the upside or maybe on the downside also. <clears throat> when the story slows down, when I say story, story means maybe the order book or maybe the profit margins, if they are slowing down, if they are coming down, then it is an alert for you. So you can wait for at least for two quarters. And if the story is really dying down, uh, or if you are able to get a better stock, then also it is a time to say bye-bye to such stock. Or if the P ratio, maybe we are expecting uh, doubling in maybe mm, two and a half years or three years, something like that. And if the stock doubles in a year, like it has happened during the last one month. So it's time to say, Yes, we are going to provide you the free research report for this company. But then there is uh, one a little request from you because we are going to share this report on WhatsApp and we share this on broadcast groups. And in broadcast groups, you may be knowing that only those members will receive who have saved our WhatsApp number in their contact list. So there's our WhatsApp number. I request you to please save in your contact list or address book on mobile phone. And the number is 9755920780. 
I repeat once again, 9755920780. If you have not saved this number, then the message will not come to you. That is the characteristic of the broadcast messages. This is not from my side, this is from the WhatsApp company side. WhatsApp messages are delivered to only those people who have saved the sender's mobile number in their contact list. Coming to the smart word, share price eventually follows earnings. This smart word, I keep report, um, repeating several times. If you are a long-term investor and if the earnings are rising, then there is 100% almost uh, assurance that share price will finally, it will cover, it will follow the earnings. So, required is patience. So we have uh, launched a smart report. Smart report is nothing but a part of our product, Smart Multibagger. In Smart Multibagger, we produce fresh about 12 to 15 stocks in a year. And the individual reports are also available for subscription. So recently, we have published one report that, uh, that was on 9th of March, 2023. Target is 2.77x in three years and three months. Those who are interested can scan this QR code or they can go to our website and in our products, they will find smart products. Price is 1180. This is a one-time service. As I said, this should not be uh, construed as an investment advice. This is from an educational point of view. Moreover, if, even, if I, if, even if I suggest something, or any stock, then how you will come to know when to exit? Because as I said, it is it is not that easy. It looks very easy from the share price movements, but from the share price chart, but from the valuation purpose is there are a lot many subjectivities and objective things are to be considered before making a uh, decision to exit. So, with this, we have come to the end of today's presentation. Now, this will be followed by question and answer session. Yep. One uh, message is, what is the name of the multibagger stock? It is WPIL. So if you have any queries, you can raise your hand via the reaction button on your mobile or your desktop. So when query is that that appears a great buy, should we not wait for the price to pull down? So these are two different schools of thought. If you find that the stock is investment worthy based on the valuations, then and if you if you if you try to combine with the share price, then I would suggest you if you are a strong believer in fundamentals, then take a position. Maybe maybe a small position and then wait for the share price also. Uh, what I do, if the valuations are attractive, then I don't wait for the share price to come down. I keep a margin of about 20% more investment in any stock over the current moment. But I don't believe uh, in predicting the share price, but I do believe in predicting the earnings and things. I am a long-term investor and share price has to follow the earnings.
why this stock has not been covered in any of our services in the recent patients when you find such an we have been uh, we have been recommending publishing the exciting stories exciting stocks or various products and as i told you as i showed during short during the presentation i have in fact um, published one stock on a smart multivagger also on 9th of this month just three days back so as such it is not like that uh, we are not publishing yes but whenever we have something extra or something to share with others that is how we cover the stocks if we are member are these report free yes of course do you give exit on smart multibagger portfolio see we have a product with the name of smart multibaggers yes we do provide exit advice on that but for this stock we are not going to provide any exit uh, advice unlisted or startup companies investment are how much risky if company liquidation is there any chance of capital returns so company liquidation happens in most of the cases because the company is in trouble and when the company is trouble is in trouble then in often you will find that it is under heavy debt and there are lots of payables and that is the reason why in most of the cases during liquidation you shareholders don't get any it is very rare that they get any amount unlisted or startup company investment are how much is okay unlisted are very risky because the exit route is not that easy and liquidity is not enough there also there are lot many other questions as to when it will get listed and uh, also what should be the correct valuation so it is as i said even for the listed companies it is very difficult to find uh, the right valuation for unlisted company it is more difficult more challenging because not all the documents are available find the right valuation what is the percentage of your scheme success rate so this is something uh not the right or way of uh, judging the success rate i will tell you why because if you ask any advisor or say if the month is february or march 2021 you ask them the success rate they will tell you for last 12 months success rate is 100% why because after covid market was up by 100% From thirty six, almost hundred percent, and all the stocks were moving up. So naturally, the success rate is going to hundred percent. Then how you are going to touch? So and if suppose the market is down by, say suppose the market is down by twenty percent in a year, then the success rate will be almost very low, maybe about ten percent or fifteen percent. So that is not the right way to judge. Right way to judge is to find the what kind of returns you have given. and considering all net returns i am telling because you have to consider the losses also and in particular if you are investing irregularly irregularly i mean to say that if you are investing every week then the right way to judge the performance is irr that is the internal rate of return and that we publish uh, regularly on our website also and i am very happy to share here that our returns are almost 60% up with respect to the bsc sensex in last 3 years so we are doing um better than bsc sensex at the rate of 60% when we talk about the order inflows then should we also take into consideration the number of customers of course if there is only one customer then it's really very really difficult uh, to get high profit margins so in this case this company uh, has an export also and it has operations in so many countries it has 12 manufacturing plants and it has got 
number of customers. Like the recently, uh, the order backed by the company for 1200 odd crores is from the MP government and from different uh, country, uh, different cities. Really for the, uh, it, it is expecting a good order book from one nuclear reactor being planned. So it has got wide uh, variety of customers. It is not dependent on select customers. Explain how did you value and arrive target price. We have shown you some, uh, how to value. You can, we will share the video and you can watch again. Which factor you consider most important to exit any stock? Yeah, there can be many reasons. Um, the prominent one is if the valuations are going high. So for valuation purpose, I use P to growth ratio. That is the PEC. This is used by a very uh, limited number of investors. But this was a favorite of English. And I find this ratio very, very helpful and very easy to use and very effective also. So any stock which has a peg of more than two or maybe in extreme cases, if it goes beyond 2.25, then I exit. That is one. Two is if I am able to get a more attractive stock, then I have to include that in my portfolio and then create a position for that stock. I have to exit from some other stock in case I don't have the money, cash money. So that is another option. Third is if the market is stable, and for some unknown reason, the share price keeps on declining consistently with respect to the market. And say, share price is down 15% with respect to the market, then it's a time for me to make an exit because there is something which I don't know. Or, or I can say that some insiders know very, know very well and it is not into the public space. The information is not available in the public space. That is the time to exit. But that happens very rarely, maybe once in two years or three years. Such an old company, any reason for not listing on NSC? It is not necessary. It is not, there is no uh, rule or law that you should have a listing on both exchanges. It is up to the company. But there are many good companies which are listed only on NSC, not listed on NSC. And uh, once it gets listed, Maybe in times to come, if it decides, management decides to list it shares on NSC also, then definitely liquidity will increase, increase manifold and valuations also rise. Because with the increase in liquidity, many mutual funds or FIs, they are interested in the stock. They get the desired quantity. My view, your view on failure of Silicon Valley Bank this effect on our market, especially in finance sector. Directly, there will not be any impact because uh, that bank, SVB, <coughs> that is Silicon Valley Bank, that is uh, mostly used by the venture capital funds and VCs and the startups and their employees and some small set of banks. So startups will get affected. I mean, in India also, they will get affected because there are many startups in India who have uh, funding from SVB. And as we all know, now there are no sanctions possible in SVB. So they are stuck up. But the listed companies, indirectly, yes, there can be an impact because if the, as we know all, we know all very well, if the US market is effect, uh, impacted, then our also, our market also gets impacted. But direct impact, I don't foresee. What is your view on Adani Group companies? Okay, so my view is very clear from the fact that from last 11 years, we have not advised any of the Adani Group stock. Okay. I hope the message is very clear. How do you see chemical specialty stocks failures? Stock, sorry, and any good potential company name for the reason of 12 months?
Yes, we have already recommended a couple of specialty chemical companies in our uh, all the three products. Because most of the companies are have undertaken capital expansion and uh, in Europe as well as in USA, companies are always in Europe or China plus one. What is the industry P of this stock? So during the presentation, I said that our philosophy is bottoms up. I don't look for the industry P because what matters is how much. So it is something like, we'll tell you in another way, how you define success. So for me, success is what I was yesterday and what I am today. That is success. Really, in case of companies, I look for what it was and what it's going to be. That is success. I'm not comparing one company with another because as I said, the share price always follows the earnings, not the full earnings of the sector, but the earnings of own. To give you an example, um, there is a sector with the name of textile and there is a company with the name of page industries. As a textile sector, the P ratio may be about 10 to 15, but if you look for page industries, the P is 50 plus. The reason is the growth. It is the growth that matters. What is view on about Arthi Group? Recently, the share of this group have gone down considerably. So, as I said, keep on, I keep on saying, look for the performance of the company. Look for look for the EPS of the company or the dividend of the company. You will get answer. And all this data is available free on BSC website. Is it BSC website? And most everything, whatever I have shown in this presentation has been taken from BSC website. And most of the data is available on a single screenshot. So this was all about today's webinar. Any other query? <clears throat> It seems today the action button is not working. So I have not seen any hands up. So with this, uh, we come to the end of today's session. Uh, thank you for sparing your valuable time. And uh, thank you very much.